when I ask teachers, like I always do this, like, Hey, like, tell me about your principal. Oh, they're so nice. They let me do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm like, is that a good principle? You know, it, cause it's not, and I, I understand. And there's this, there's this delicate balance of that, you know, like you got to trust me to have some autonomy in the things I'm doing, but I've talked about this a ton. If that leader is not actually helping you grow and get better, then what is the benefit? And like, what do you, what do you, when you hear that, like, what do you think when somebody would say that to you? Cause that kind of throws me off a little bit. I'm like, I don't know if that's really a great principle because you can do whatever you want, but what, what does whatever you want look like, I guess. Oh, see, and, and there you just hit it right at the end for me, George, which is, I, I think the good leader, co is their friend, co-create, co-design. They're always doing p- things with rather than for people. And and so when, when, when people talk about the sort of doing whatever I want, I always wonder, so what is our co-created observable vision of what teaching and learning looks like in the classroom because then we now have a common lexicon a common language for us to be able to discuss what's happening in the classroom because a good principal and I I referred to Marty Lewis uh, in our earlier uh, session together Mm. Marty's gift was also and I think the number one thing that leaders need to do is to be able to confront and interrogate practice whether it's our assessment practices, our teaching practices, our leadership practices, our practices with community engagement, are we willing to actually confront those through the lens of what's the impact that they're having? So when, you know, the idea of having someone allow us do whatever we want, I think that's, you know, kind of interesting in the short term, isn't it? But in the long term, as you say, it's sort of like walking through the desert after a while. There's no parameters, no walls. We don't actually know where we're going because we don't know where we've been. So I think that idea of creating that common vision with our staff and with teachers really empowers them to start to deal, uh, to, to get into that. I know where I'm at. I know where I've been. And that's the efficacy piece that we're all sort of chasing around like the, like the Holy Grail right now. 